Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This video is in response to a question uh, I had about how well the YouTube feature or app worked with the Sony Blu-ray disc player. Uh, I would imagine it works just as well as the Amazon streaming video did. Uh, you know, the only limiting factor is uh, how good your router is and, and how fast your internet is. Uh, here's the YouTube right there under my apps and I have my wireless feature of my router on and take a look here at what uh, the YouTube format looks like on it. This is a 19 inch flat panel Toshiba. I'm sure it's going to look a little bit different with the larger screen uh, but that's what it looks like pretty much uh, you know what you get when you're not logged into YouTube so these are some of the videos that are popular I guess some of the music videos and what I did is if you, you can sign in you can also search home see popular on YouTube and this category is music, sports, gaming, news, spotlight, film, and animation. I didn't notice this on, uh, is this feature available when you're looking at YouTube with the computer online? I don't, I've never noticed this, I guess. So, let's see. I already checked out, you know, just searching my channel name. So you can go search. And then a little tedious here, but you can just type in with your remote and I'll fast forward uh, once I get this all typed in. I guess this would be a nice place to have voice activation. Okay, so you can see there, I, I didn't even have to press enter, I just completed the name of my channel uh, up in the search bar there, and there are the videos associated with my channel. So, I'm not signed in, so this is just uh, like if anyone was looking for my channel or came across these videos, this is what you would see. So, that's pretty cool. I'm, in my kitchen looking at the TV and there's my YouTube uh, videos so if I sign in I guess I'll have my home page so I can take a look at that that's up at the top there sign in and to sign into YouTube youtube.com activate why do I have to activate? So it looks like I have to register, sign in, go to youtube.com slash activate and enter. So do I, I think I have to do that uh, online on the computer. youtube.com slash activate. I'll have to write that down. Okay, so I'm back. I went to youtube.com slash activate, entered in that code, and then had to agree to uh, the terms of service, and it activated YouTube TV. So they're distinguishing this as a separate platform. You know how when, if you go to the analytics, they break down, like, I think they have like an other, or, you know, where your videos are being viewed so they're keeping track I guess uh, and they only want you know a certain activation one activation per maybe unit so I had to do the same thing uh, with Amazon so Amazon uh, I've activated this you this um, player and I had a I think did I recall correctly I put in the code for this associated with this TV 
So the keeping track of the combination of the player and the TV, I guess, that you're viewing uh, these programmings on, uh, whether it's you know, Amazon, streaming Amazon, or the YouTube, because I guess if you're still watching videos um, on your TV, that's another form of um, ad, another source of ad revenue. Um, so I activated that, and I don't think, you know, that's a one-time code. You can't use it again. It's now activated. And uh, I didn't have to put the TV information in, though. So I did have to go... Um, somehow that's associated with this player. I'm not certain how that works. But here's the YouTube now. Um, these are some... You know, it's just like when you go watch a video on YouTube and they do recommendations. I saw some pet videos is... People with St. Bernard's and uh, Huskies or Malamutes. Uh, and then they have recommendations. But if you look here now, up at the top left, it now says eTech Tom. And I thought home would be my home page, but I don't... It doesn't have a home page setting, it seems. If I just go to uh, uploads, history... But here's the playlist. This is the, my playlist. So the format's a little bit different. You're not just looking at your YouTube channel homepage. So there's Digital, Masura Robot Kid, Arduino, and then View All. So if I select that, well, okay, All. So now you have a view that's sort of uh, similar to what you see when you're looking online with a computer. So there's digital electronics, the Arduino. Let's see if I select that. I wonder if it's just going to play the whole series of videos. Yeah, it looks like it's going to play. What if you could and your you know they're playing videos. I mean they're playing ads so this is another source of ad revenue for your channel. But they want to know that they, they want to know where people are watching these videos, whether it's from somebody's website um, or directly off of YouTube, or in this case, on their TV through the Sony player. And you can skip the ad just like uh, when I get over there. Oh, was it already highlighted? So press Enter, and I can skip the ad. And go right to my video. So I hit return. Looks like I think I hit it twice there for some reason, and uh, it's back to this. So yeah, I mean, um, you now have access to YouTube with the Sony Blu-ray disc player. I think they should have the home should mean your your home page, but when I click on that, it's YouTube home, I guess. It just stays there. Descriptions, uploads, uploads, that's, what is that? Oh, oh okay, so that's recent um, videos that I've uploaded. So yeah, this is another uh, great feature with this Sony, I mean, it's just, Unbelievable, the other options besides cable. I think uh, cable is on a death watch, um, death spiral. There's just so much, uh, so many other options now available. And uh, don't forget you watch stuff now. You know, I keep on forgetting when I'm watching like Workaholics or, or something that, no commercials, and I get to watch it when I watch it. Uh, one of the features I noticed, uh, 
sort of go off on tangent here. You put a DVD in here, you stop it and turn the DVD player off and uh, you turn it back on the next day, it, it remembers where you left off and starts the playing again uh, where you left off. But yeah, you watch uh, streaming programming, no commercials. You watch it when you want to watch it. It's on demand. Oh, and uh, I'm going to really get off track here because um, I, I got another question about the uh, gaming features on this. So uh, I might end it here um, and do a separate video on, on the gaming on PlayStation. Uh, but I noticed there's another another app on this that allows you to watch movies and it seems like they were for free also and let me get out of here let's see how I get out of the YouTube completely let's see are you sure you want to exit YouTube yes so if you found this video interesting uh, feel free to like, subscribe, and or comment. And I think the next video I'll show, like, Crackle. I don't want to go all through all these different apps, you know. It's just some of this stuff, I, I think you have to have a subscription. But I didn't even know what Crackle was. I didn't have time to, uh, didn't take a second to go to uh, the computer and look on the Internet. But... What the heck? Let me let me show you real quick. I was surprised here. You go to this crackle. And give it a second. There's movies. So I clicked on movies. I'm like, okay, probably have to pay per view or something. Joe Dirt, I mean not exactly uh recent movies, but Hey, Joe Dirt, you click on that, it says watch now. I don't see anything asking for money, rental fee or anything. So go watch. And I didn't register anything with this crackle. Free music for everything you do. So, like when you're waking up to the happiest there's a commercial. It's silly nice out. And instead of solo kitchen karaoke, you're beach bound. Windows down, sing to some sunburned synths. But you're just warming up. Because this beat says it's time to sun out, vibe out. And you're not sure what's next, but it's feeling like it might just be the ultimate girl's night out. Google Play Music. Free music for everything you do. And here's the movie. So, this is free. This is an Amazon, this is Crackle, whatever Crackle is. And, you know, there was a commercial there. Um, that was it, though. Now we're going into the movie. So let's return. Um, we had Thriller, most popular. Let me get out of there completely. Featured, most popular, browse all, comedy, crackle original, horror, music, sci-fi. I don't know what they have under sci-fi. I thought I saw something for games here also. Maybe not. So I don't know what they have for science fiction. Science fiction. District 9. I like that movie. I saw it uh, on TV. Did not go to see it in the theaters, but I ended up liking that. Seen it a couple of times whenever it's been on. Uh, the best part I like is the, uh, I don't know, they seem more realistic type of weaponry and uh, the way that uh, they kill people just uh, blows up pieces of meat everywhere. 
um, instead of like vaporizing you. So I might uh, watch that whenever I feel like it. Let's see. Music. There's music. Horror. What do you got for horror here? American movie. Boogeyman. So are all these free too? Let's go on to, what is that, Boogeyman 3. Watch. Yeah, these are all free. So you can have a watch list, shows, my crackle. Let's see. Let's exit this. Okay, so I got a question about PlayStation. Uh, I don't have a PlayStation. Uh, if I play a video game, it's usually I buy the PC version. I haven't played a game in a while. Let's see, uh, PlayStation Video. I guess that's just video shorts of uh, when they've released video games, um, promoting them. We got PlayStation Now, and I don't know if someone asked if you needed the PlayStation Remote or PlayStation Controller. Let's see what we have here. I, this had to sign into a register, so there was a. Um, let's see what it says here. Subscription right there. There's a free trial subscription for PlayStation so how do I get over there so that's highlighted so if um, if I have to enter a credit card information forget it start free trial so if I just hit start There it is, Dual Shock. It looks like you need some type of controller. Here's the well. Here's the answer right here. You need to connect a Dual Shock 4 controller in order to stream games. For more information, visit www.playstationnow.com/controllers. So that answers that question. So it looks like the Microsoft game controller. So you would have to have that controller. I say OK. I wonder if I'm, well, where would the communication be? Is it through the Sony? Blu-ray disc player. What is the controller communicating with? The TV or the Sony PlayStation? So there you have to, uh, you know, I have to register anyway. I don't have a controller, so no sense going any further with that, but I think that pretty much answers that question. Uh, if I back out of this, that spotlight. If I back out again. And you can see here spotlight action, adventure, fighting, platformer, RPG, shooter, all games. Back out again. Back out. Okay. If you look at PlayStation video. I think these are just promos for some of the games. New movies. 
What is this? PlayStation Video. So they have videos. Uh, these are not free though. So PlayStation also has a feature where you can watch movies. Most popular. What was that under new? I thought I just saw something new to buy or new to rent. So I don't think there's anything free here. Trending videos. Marvel's Avengers, Age of Ultron. $14.99. The last I checked on Amazon, I think they were asking $20 for that. San Andreas. How was that movie? You know, it just seemed like uh, an overload of special effects. Deals. 99 cents. 30 girls, 30 days. Actium Maximus. Is it like that um, 30 Days of Night or whatever? <laughs> Vampire movie? No. My videos. Sign in to view your purchased videos. Okay. So I don't know where I'll attach this to under uh, the Sony, uh, under the PlayStation uh, gaming. I guess that just those are two two categories under PlayStation. So you have this PlayStation Video, which I didn't know there was video um, associated with PlayStation. So Sony has, um, I guess they're sort of. Now the more competition for cable and also competition with Amazon. So let me get out of this and okay. So I mean I could just I mean this could take all night. Voodoo movies and TV. So click on that one. Collect the latest movies and TV loading. <laughs> Running Voodoo, sign in, uh, sign up. Browse, log, log in. Let's see what happens if I have, if I sign up. It's the same thing. Enter email. So it looks like you already have to have, no, they just want your email, whatever email you decide to give them, .com, .net, .org, .biz, that's what I'm thinking. So I might investigate, it's just, you know, <laughs> this was supposed to make my life a little bit easier than cable, and now I'm, I'm getting even more selections than I had with cable, but more control. So, whatever the sign up process is with this, Fudu is more options for TV and video. I'm hitting return and um, it's not going anywhere. I can't seem to return. Might be a bug here. That's interesting. If I hit home, okay, home worked, return did not. So I'm home. Hulu Plus, Pandora, what is that? I have a Pandora account. I am a new Pandora. I am I am new to Pandora. And there's the code I put in and I go to Pandora. So this is just like the 
YouTube activation. That's where I am. Uh, they're keeping track of the platforms that are being registered to these different um, services here or uh, multimedia providers. I don't know how to get some paper. Pandora.com activate. So here I am at the Pandora.com slash activate web page. And I'm showing the code because I'm uh, thinking it's a, just a one time code. And to activate the one time and it's not reusable. I'll verify that and if it is reusable then I just won't show that code I guess in the video but uh, there it is and I'll hit activate but let me put the camera back on the TV to show you what happens once it's activated uh, from the laptop here well in this case I do have to create a Pandora account and I have not even uh, researched what Pandora is so I think I'm just going to go ahead and create this account and uh, complete the registration process or the activation process with the Sony uh, Blu-ray disc player. So here um, I've created an account and it just says to put in my favorite artist, song or composer and they'll create a radio station featuring that music and more like it. So. You have your own custom radio station? Never thought about uh, something like that. That uh, sounds like a good idea. Radio station just plays the music that you like to listen to. Your own personal radio station. I think that's what this is all about. So here's something obscure. I put in uh, Segovia. Andrea Segovia. So that's classical. So I end up with uh, my own NPR station. <laughs> Just kidding. My own classical. Julian Bream. Segovia by Julian Bream. So if I just put this guy's in here uh, and I say finish. And I would hope I can change that at a later date. All done. Your Sony Blu-ray player is now ready to use Pandora. So these are unique features to that. I wonder with... Because I have that code. Somehow that code is associated with that particular player. So they, they now know they're communicating with that particular player. And there's probably all types of identifying information stored somewhere in memory on that on that player, on that Sony Blu-ray disc player. Oh, I have a Pandora account. Yes, I do. So if I press enter oh they must have sent uh, your email password okay so that's the email and the password that I create that I used online and that'll get me into Pandora through the Sony blue ray disc player I have to type that in get back to you in a second so I entered my email address and password that I registered online and there you can see so this is all about creating your own personal what they call radio station with the music that um, you wanna listen to so here's Andrea Segovia radio that's what I put in for an artist load that And there's music. 
So this is sort of like iTunes, I guess. So we go return. You can thumbs up and thumbs down. Oh, I had a little mood change there. How do I go home? Oh, going right out of that. So there's Pandora. Another nice feature. And that's free. Which was that a, an abbreviated version of the album? Or just a tease? So I don't know how they make their money on that. Just too much to investigate here. Hulu Plus. Anyways, that's just... Uh, I can go on forever here highlighting each of these apps. Um, remember we have all apps here. So there's just a huge selection. Snag Films. Trouble with Bliss, Letters from the Big Man. <clears throat> you know, there's just so much stuff out there. Exterminators. Super Size Me. Oh, that's that guy that uh, does things to excess made all his money is that the, isn't that the guy that ate burger uh, hamburgers for McDonald's for like three months or something and then was surprised that his it wasn't healthy super size me I never saw that Alaska Fish Wars. So here's some free content. This episode of Alaska Fish Wars, Captain Wes is dead in the water with mechanical problems. So this is something I wouldn't have access to when I got rid of the cable, but now on the North Crow, Gavin's stellar season comes and grinding to a halt. These are pretty old episodes, aren't they? I don't know how old these are. And the Paragon finally finds its fishing oh. mojo. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of a lot of content. Plenty of content. So let me get out of this. Go back to home. That always works. So I hope you found this video interesting. Just showing a couple of more of the uh, features or options. Huge selection of options available with the Sony Blu-ray disc player. So feel free to like, subscribe, and or comment. And I think you can do that now also uh, through your TV. If you have one of these Sony Blu-ray disc players, thanks for watching. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This video is in response to a question uh, I had about how well the YouTube feature or app worked with the Sony Blu-ray disc player. Uh, I would imagine it works just as well as the Amazon streaming video did. Uh, you know, the only limiting factor is uh, how good your router is and, and how fast your internet is. Uh, here's the YouTube right there under my apps and I have my wireless feature of my router on and take a look here at what uh, the YouTube format looks like 
on it. This is a 19 inch flat panel Toshiba. I'm sure it's going to look a little bit different with the larger screen. Uh, but that's what it looks like. Pretty much, uh, you know, what you get when you're not logged into YouTube. So these are some of the videos that are popular, I guess, some of the music videos. And what I did is if you, you can sign in, you can also search home, see popular on YouTube. And this category is music, sports, gaming, news, spotlight, film and animation. I didn't notice this on, uh, is this feature available when you're looking at YouTube with the computer online? I don't, I'd never noticed this, I guess. So, let's see. I already checked out, you know, just searching my channel name. So you can go search. And then a little tedious here, but you can just type in with your remote and I'll fast forward uh, once I get this all typed in. I guess this would be a nice place to have voice activation. Okay so you can see there I, I didn't even have to press enter I just completed the name of my channel uh, up in the search bar there and there are the videos associated with my channel. So I'm not signed in so this is just uh, like if anyone was looking for my channel or came across these videos this is what you would see. So that's pretty cool. I'm in my kitchen looking at the TV and there's my YouTube uh, videos. So if I sign in, I guess I'll have my home page. So I can take a look at that. That's up at the top there. Sign in. And to sign into YouTube, YouTube.